All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we have the brand new Anime Mania One Piece update. Now, guys, this update, I, this is going to be my first time checking it out. Um, I went ahead and just rolled for the characters and uh, used other ones to level them up to about level 20 so we can have some fun with them. Um, so, guys, I have, I had all the characters. I had, um, uh, Kakato, Kakato, I can't say that name right, but Moki Boy, whatever he's called on this, on, uh, in this, in Anime Mania. Um, but guys, I had him, but I exited out and boom, he's not there. So, I don't know what happened. But uh, I do have Marco, Anil, and Akainu. So we're gonna be checking those out today, looking at their moves, and kind of going through the story mode of this game a little bit, and seeing how much fun we can have. So uh, if you end up liking the video, guys, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, because I'll be doing these characters more in depth, um, instead of just like, like probably max them out and do videos like that, uh, because they're, they're pretty neat, and I'd rather get more of an in-depth kind of look at them instead of just like a quick overall thing like we're gonna do today. But this is really just for the update. And I'm also gonna do a tier list to put these people on where they fit on the tier list. So I'm sure a lot of y'all are gonna wanna see that, guys. So um, I think we're ready. Let's go find us a match. So for Marco, we're gonna be checking out his first move. Okay, I'm about to say, where is wave one? So first move is gonna be, well, let's look at this. Oh wait, I need to get my shift. Oh gosh, get out the way. Uh, Shift lock, let's go with that. And then we got reimbursed. So basically, I believe this is his healing move. And it definitely does, it looks cool, but it doesn't do any type of damage. So, uh, yeah, the healing move is pretty neat. And it heals your enemy, your, your, um, your allies too. So, like I said, I'm gonna do a more in-depth video of these characters when, uh, I guess more like max level 80 and stuff. So, let's see, let's go, catapult looks like. Bam! Did pretty decent damage, almost killed them all. So, if I was like level 25, they probably would have died. What the heck kind of crap is this? Alright, then we have soaring combo. So let's go with this. Wow. So this is more of like a, it's definitely not AOE. A catapult really wasn't AOE either. But I mean, we'll see, have to see what head dive does because hopefully that'll be a decent AOE move. Uh, wave three, let's go ahead and do head dive. And I guess it'll dive wherever your cursor is pointing. What, did I miss him? What the heck? That, that didn't do jack squat. So, uh, we need to see where Marco's rated. I mean, is how good of a character is he? I mean, the cooldowns for a head dive were pretty quick, but I mean, how much damage did that do? That barely did anything. So I don't really know if that's that's a good move. Now, Marco definitely, if anything, there's a re the reason to get him would be for his healing powers because he's been perfect for an assist, assist character. That's gonna keep you rolling. So would I say that Marco is a top tier character? Guys, I'm really not sure. I mean, he's a very he's a character loved by a lot of people in the series, and he's got a really cool fruit, but in abilities, but I don't know if I'm seeing it, guys, in this game, because uh, it might just be because I don't have him leveled up, but uh, his head dive is definitely not as much power as I thought it would be. Like, I, unless, unless it's bugging out or something, it doesn't look as near the power that I thought it would be. Now, the good thing about Marco is he does have, looks like he has a lot of iframes, because um, it's, I'm, I'm keeping my health pretty good, and it looked like I was getting hit a good bit. Uh, but the, the some of his main moves, guys, that's really, really, as far as uh, putting damage out as a unit, guys, they, they don't really seem like they really do the damage that they should. Uh, I mean, but I guess because of his healing ability, you can't have somebody that's going to be freaking OP with uh, power and damage if they got a healing ability as good as that he has. So I don't know if he needs to be buffed or not, but this dude, if he had the damage of output, he would be absolutely insane. Now, like I said, he, he could definitely be used as an assist character, no problem. I don't see why not. But um, as of right now, for his damage, I don't... I don't think his damage has the best output, really. I mean, you see what I'm, you see what's going on. Uh, like his his big move is barely putting out. You know, as far as damage is concerned, it looked like. See, um, I think those clowns got hit by something else earlier. Let's okay, let's heal. But this healing does do some damage, so that does help. But it's it's not the same as you know, like Starks' his damage is insane. But like. Not really many units have that kind of damage. Um, 
so let's see. Let's kill this one dude. Hey, come here. Come here, boy. Why is he running away? All right, so let's let's try to gather these dudes up and do a head dive. And we're going to see what kind of damage head dive does before we uh, move to Anil. Let's see. So catapult, catapult to the middle. Let's get them all wound up. Okay. Um. Oh, gosh. I need to... I'm about to say, I need to heal. I almost died. Okay, now. Let's go. Boom. So... Did I miss something? It, that knocked him pretty good. I, I don't know. Man, it looked like earlier the head dive wasn't doing much of damage, but then it did a good bit of damage right there. So I don't know what to tell you guys, to be honest. So now we got a Neil, guys. He is another real fan favorite as character as far as in games go. Um, because his moves are really just his his ability comes with a, a great move set. There's a lot of stuff you can do. So we got Thunder Spear for the first move. And that dealt a lot of damage, especially those first little clown pirates right there. I gotta watch my health. Next, we have Thunderdome. So basically, putting us a dome with thunder. And guys, maybe I should have leveled my characters up more um, because these raids, now I'm level 10, it's getting hard and I'm about to die. Then we got Judgment. So basically, it's like Broly's move, just kind of out there and I died. Well, at least that makes it easier for us now to show the rest of these moves off. So basically, Judgment looked kind of like Broly's move. We'll do it again but it's kind of out there. So you kind of have to stand back and really, you know, see, like gauge your distance and also it could be easy to miss. It's not like you just um, get above them and do it. But here's another move. Divinity is pretty nice. And just kind of stand here and wherever, you, I believe it's gonna throw the ball wherever you tell it to. So right, I kind of had it down, so it went down. Uh, we'll look at that a, another time again. Let's see, there's Thunder Spear. It can be great because it's got a long range. Well, I'm not going to say long range, but medium, more like a medium range, and it does decent damage. And, um, but these clown parts doesn't work too well against these clown parts because they like to teleport behind you. So that's like that. It's kind of dumb. So Thunderdome can really do some damage if they're under that. So that'll get you out of pinch pretty quickly. Uh, it really do some hurting. So it's not as quickly and as, uh, damage like, and get you out of pinch like Genryu Yamamoto's move. But, guys, that thing, see, he just got me, but I got his other friend and just about killed him. Uh, but it definitely, Thunderdome, really help you out. Because, I mean, look at him. It doesn't do a good knockback, but it definitely does some damage to him for sure. All right, so with the next wave, we're going to be looking at, we'll do a, we'll, we'll, we'll do a, a Kainu real quick. Yeah, let's do a Kainu. All right, so a Kainu or a Kinu, whatever y'all want to call him. I pronounce things a little bit different. So he's got Magma Fist. So let's see. Oh gosh, so I, I did the wrong button. So that's Magma Barrage. So it looks like basically wherever you point your th your uh, cursor, he's gonna throw stuff. Now, does this stuff have iframes? That I don't know. So Magma Stomp was pretty decent. I mean, y'all saw that. So let's go back to Magma Fist. If these stupid buggy pirates would stop teleporting behind me, I think we'd be able to get a little bit better. Um, so magma barrages get up here. Let's hit let's hit these over here. So that's actually doing pretty good I like that. So basically you could if they're under you just sit there just whack them go up top whack them from um, below Pretty easy. All right, so we're we need out of a pinch. Let's go magma stomp and That's got a pretty good knockback. I'm not gonna lie about that guys. That looks pretty sick and uh, Kind of moves do look like they deal a good bit of damage so for the last one We'll see. Let's let's get a fresh wave. Okay, there we go. Here's a fresh wave, and we'll see what happens with Magma Stomp. I really want to get these characters all lined up, and but I might end up dying because of all these freaking cannonballs. So I think we're gonna have to do Magma Smash right now. So uh, I don't know if it's just like a higher damage Magma Stomp, but like with let's do Magma Barrage. I don't know if it says iframes, but these dudes are gonna kill me if I don't do something. Uh, and then we got. Magma Fist, that wasn't good. I'm about to get freaking wrecked, guys. Magma Smash! So this is what, these these waves are nothing to be playing with, guys. So Magma Stomp! That has iframes, and ooh, I'm surprised I didn't get killed. If I can make it through this wave, if I can make it through this wave, guys. Magma Fist. Oh my gosh, and he got me! Oh, man! So guys, uh, this update actually added XP units, so if you go to unlimited mode, which I do not have that right now, um, but if you do go to unlimited mode, you will be able to buy, uh, not buy, but you get a 10% chance of getting XP units for every, I think every five waves. So when they have 15% 15 XP, so 
I'm not sure exactly how helpful they will be if you don't get many of them. They might need to buff the rate to really get more. But yeah, this this is a pretty good update. Now they they did say there will be another One Piece update because duh, duh, I mean you have some good characters, but you don't really have like Snake Man, Luffy, or Prime Whitebeard. There's there's a bunch of different characters they could they could add that they need to add in the future, guys. Uh, but so far, I'm digging the One Piece update. I wish I could really show to y'all um, Kakatori. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm just call him Moki Boy because that's easier to pronounce. Um, I haven't really paid attention to the One to One Piece series since the Dolph Flamingo arc. So uh, yeah, I'm very I'm very uh, not up to date with this series. So um, guys, that is it for the new One Piece update. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I'll be doing more uh, in depth with these characters. So if you end up liking the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and God bless you.